Hey everybody and welcome back to part two of building my little witch's house for my display. Um, I didn't realize that my phone was not recording so some of what you see here I've already cut out. I had cut out the, um, the roof part that's going to be like the roof and the floor for the second story and um, yeah and I cut a piece out um, that's going to go across the roof on the angle part. So what you're seeing now is I am cutting, uh, marking how wide that piece needs to be for both of these. And I'm doing a voiceover because while I'm doing this, I'm watching Stephanie Harlow. Um, she had a video come out today and I was watching that while I was doing this. So, um, you see here, I'm kind of using my uh, roof part, which is the same width as kind of a guide to mark out. And I marked out two of these. And um, guys, this takes a lot longer than the video. I did a lot of editing. Um, the first time I've done this, so, you know. If, don't worry about everything being exact or perfect. It's supposed to be um, kind of a shack looking house. So don't panic if things aren't exactly perfect. Um, this is only part two. There's going to be like three or four parts. I'm going to try not to make them too long. Uh, you see here I'm trimming the pieces down. And... Um, I will go back through with a black marker, a Sharpie. We will color in the white edges that if we need to. Um, and also um, the roof um, over the top part will get painted. I'm also going to be using some moss on the roof and I'm going to put a chimney up plus is going to be the, um, oh, what do you call it? The, the tower. Um, I did not trim out the hole for the tower yet. I have it marked. You may see that mark there when, when I'm moving this around, but I have not trimmed out the hole for it yet. I will, when we go to do the rest of the house. See here, I'm fitting the pieces together, showing you how they're going to go. And, um, so now I'm going to go ahead and start, um, getting everything set aside, which way do I want things to go. And I'm going to start marking where I want the window and the door on the front. Now, I'm just, I'm not going to keep it straight and perfect. It doesn't have to be. It's a little rundown shacky house. Also, my door is going to be so it can swing open. You don't have to do this, but my door is actually going to be cut completely out. And um, so you're going to see that I cut the whole thing out. Um, I am going to have like ribbon on the inside of this that's going to be glued to the inside of the house and the back of the door that's going to give this door so it can swing this way it actually looks like it's partially open and letting more light out because this house will have lights inside so um, you see here I'm popping the door out and then I'm also going to cut out the windows um, in the door and also cut out the windows in the house. This is such a relaxing thing to do. Um, they're black topping our street. So I, I barely got back in this morning. <laughs> um, I, I scooted around them to get back in the parking lot. So that was that. And um, so there's my door. Now I'm going to cut out the windows and um, get those, the four little holes done to represent a window. And that's all done. 
and then I'm going to start with the rest of what needs to be done with the house. And um, it comes together really quite easy. The whole thing is just planning it all out, putting it together, having a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of hot glue ready, guys, to put this together. On the very back, I'm going to make an opening big enough to reach in to either put a tea light or a um, string of lights. Um, I'm not sure which I'm going to do. I haven't decided. I have not been able to find um, a yellow lit tea light. You know, the battery operated ones. And... I thought I had some in my drawers. I did not find it, so I may use a battery-operated string of lights, and I'll show you the hack on making those um, the color you want. So I've got the back open so I can reach in and um, put some lights in there. And now I'm going to assemble the side walls. Remember, these are the ones that I made curved in the last video. And a bunch of hot glue. Almost like you're stitching back and forth. You're going to run a line. You're going to run up and down. Up the sidewall onto the um, front of the house also. So you're giving it a good coat. And then just holding this all together. You can see here I ran out of glue on my glue stick. And I forgot to trim this sidewall before I put it up. But I did trim it later. Um, and I trimmed the other one before I put it together. So like I said, I did go through a bunch of hot glue. Don't worry about seeing it or not seeing it. It's not going to matter. Um, I did kind of block this house up together um, while I was doing this. So that the sidewalls had something to hold them still while I did other things. And here you can see um, I've turned it over. Now I'm putting this up um, onto the back of the house and gluing it down onto the back of the house. And I'm doing it the same exact way. A lot of glue up and down from the sidewall to the back of the house and building up that glue so that it holds steady. Um, like I said, don't worry about what the edges look like. We're going to come back in. See here I used the sanding block to help give it some weight to hold it in place while I move the house where I can get in a little bit better to glue. And uh, it, it really wasn't all that difficult. Like I said, just a little time consuming. But to be able to build it yourself is so much more joyful. Here I'm putting the side, little side roof that comes down um, on. Of course, I've had to let the set and uh, get all put, um, you know, so the glue is set hard. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put this all, get the glue on this. And I'm trying to do this in a hurry. And... Uh, yeah, get this together, hold it up there, and um, then I did go back in, and I don't think I showed this on the inside, put a little more glue. <coughs> and I have the two together, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that flat piece that's going to be part roof and also part upstairs um, for the upstairs part. And um, I'm just kind of playing with this to get it where I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this. And hindsight's 2020. I should have just turned this whole thing upside down and glued it that way. I don't know what I was thinking. But it would have been so much easier, really, to just turn the whole house upside down and glued it together that way. But, you know. It is what it is, and it's sturdy, so I guess that's okay. Like I said, don't worry about all the edges. We'll take care of them in the next video, 
And um, then my next step is going through and sticking glue in the little cracks, pressing down the roof as I go, and just making sure the whole little roof thing is fastened in. And then um, we're going to work on the side walls just like we did on the main part of the house. The upstairs, we're going to work on the sides. And you see I set one of my pumpkins on top to help hold the roof in place while it got hard. Um, you know, the glue dried and stuff. We're going to do the same with the upstairs part as we did with the downstairs. And I forgot to cut out my windows. So I went ahead um, after I was done with this section. Um, I cut out the windows and I cut out a piece for the back so that I could reach in and put lights. And you can see I've done that. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the back onto the rest of the upstairs part. And um, it really went together so easy. The biggest part of this whole thing was making the curve on the walls. If you're making your house curved like this, it really wasn't that hard to do. So I'm gluing this all together. I'm going to be letting it sit with a, I believe I just set the, the sand block on top of it. It was just enough weight to hold it together. You can see there it's all glued in. Um, and then I get my popsicle sticks and uh, I start gluing them on from the top of the roof down. And um, later on, I'll go through and I will paint them. But I, I don't want to do it in this video. I'm trying to keep the videos not too long. Um, this is really cool, putting this roof together kind of reminded me kind of like a Asian style house when I was putting this together. I was like, this is so cool. But um, I, I really enjoyed doing this. It gave me something to do besides uh, sitting around watching videos. And I have Stephanie Harlow going. So I'm listening to her and putting this house together. Here, I... You couldn't see it, but what I was doing was I was taking my X-Acto knife and I'm making a small hole in two pieces of the um, popsicle sticks. The reason I'm doing this is I am putting a chimney on top of the upstairs. And the reason I'm putting a chimney and having these small holes is I want to have a very little bit of a light coming up through the chimney. Not a huge amount of light, but maybe a little. This will give the illusion that there's a fire in the fireplace kind of thing. And I'm hoping that my hole is big enough. If not, um, I do have a drill, you know. I might just carefully, gently drill that hole a little bigger. We'll see, hopefully. And you can see that that's all done. And I kind of figure, where do I want this to sit? I kind of make an idea. And I just take my X-Acto knife here and I just cut me a hole. You just cut a hole. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so that it lets the light up through from the bottom. Um, and then I pop that hole out. And this just lets all the light up through. <coughs> and then I proceed to hot glue the upstairs to the uh, roof and uh, put the house the rest of the way together. And I love it. It sits out here on my table and I'm looking at it like... <gasps> I built a house. Now, if I could just build my own house, you know, this easy, it would be amazing. But, you know, that takes a piece of property to begin with. So, you know, um, here I'm just getting 
it kind of on there and then I reach in and finish hot gluing it where it needs to be hot glued to get this to stay put. Um, and then uh, this is pretty much as far as I'm going with this in this video. And as soon as it is stuck in place, I'll show you what it looks like from the front. The door, the windows, I'll put the door in later. So for now, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Part three will come out in another couple of days. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.